Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that was for me, it'll be okay. But come on and let's give God the best praise we can give him. Hallelujah. I see your hands clapping, hear your hands clapping. But it ain't praise that lets you say something. Hallelujah. God, you are great. God, you are good. Hallelujah. God, you are worthy of all of our praise. Hallelujah. We lift you up this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Just take a few minutes right where you are. And you lift up your voice to God. Hallelujah. And you tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all of our praise. Hallelujah. Come on. We got a few minutes, but we just want to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name. 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 Hallelujah. You are great. And you are greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And you can choose to rejoice. Hallelujah. And be glad in it. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to begin service this morning. We're going to ask. Amen. Deacon Collins, if you would come and do our opening prayer. Hallelujah. And we have our scripture reading by Brother Paul. Amen. Then we'll be in the uh, hands of Deacon Cooper. Amen. For testimony service. Followed by ter uh, testimony service, we'll have our sermonic selection from Deacon Fuller. Amen. Amen. Let's rise as we get our opening prayer from Deacon Collins. Amen. Words 
lift your hand. You mighty, 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 mighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
God, we thank you today. You are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. You are God. And you are in control. Oh God, and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to come into your house. Oh God, we give you praise. We give you glory. God, we pray that you have your way today. Have your way today. We need a touch from you, God. We come to experience you today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Have your way. Oh God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way in this place. Oh God, we know it's preaching time. God, and I can't preach without you. Let me say what you want me to say, how you want me to say it. Let your word go forth with clarity and conviction. Oh God, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and praise God. Now come on and give God the best praise you can give him right now. Hallelujah, come on and open up your mouth and you give God praise. Hallelujah. Now come on, say for God, you give yourself a head clap. 
Amen. Because it is Sunday. Amen. And the bad feels the best on Sunday morning. Amen. And I heard a lot of us talk about stuff we went through on this week, so I know it feels good to want to just lay down in your bed and let that thing hold you. Amen. And then lay your head down and get your little rest. Amen. But we pressed our way to the house of God on this morning. Amen. It'd be a shame for us to go through all we went through on this week. Get ourselves up. Get ourselves dressed. Amen. Do our hair and do everything we need to do and come to the house of God and don't get what we need from God. Hallelujah. But today, today, the word of the Lord comes from Psalm 50 and 15. And I want you to help me announce my text this morning. I can call on God. Hallelujah. You make it personal. I can call on God. Hallelujah. One thing we found out going through what we went through is that when we don't understand, hallelujah, we can call on God. Hallelujah. And in the beginning of this psalm, though, actually, when you read this, in the beginning of this psalm, it seemed like God got a problem with his people because it seemed like he started commanding the heavens and the earth to start hearing him while he talks. And what God had a problem with, it wasn't their traditions, it wasn't their rituals, it wasn't their sacrifice, it wasn't their offerings, because they had that down pat. But he tells them that you giving me what's already mine. Right. In verse 10 and in 12, he, in verse 10 he says, for every beast of the forest is mine. The cattle upon a thousand hills, that's mine too. In verse 12 he says, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. But the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. I come to encourage you this morning that don't be guilty of just going through the motions. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. God told us that we can call on him in a time of trouble. But when we call on God, it ain't his intent that when we call on him, we hold on to what we call it on him for. Uh -huh. He wants us to call on him in time of trouble and leave our troubles at his feet. He wants us to really cast our cares on him and experience the care that he really has for us. A lot of the times we can't experience that real love, that real grace, that real mercy, that real care. It's because we lay it at his feet, but we hold on to it while it's at his feet. God wants us to lay it at his feet and he wants us to let it go. Because God said, I can't do nothing with it if you still hold it on to it. So a lot of things that we're dealing with in our lives, the devil is sure enough trying to attack the minds of the saints. He's trying to keep us handicapped in our minds because he know we do a lot of thinking. He know our mind is always going a hundred to nothing. But God sent me a word on this week. He said, you can call on me if you're really tired of being sick and tired. If you really want to be delivered, if you really need some help. He says, call on me in the time of trouble. Verse 
actually paying give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. We are not always thankful for everything. But in everything we face, in everything we go through, we can always find something to be thankful to God for. God wants us to be so invested in him that when troubles do come, we know who to call on. Not only is it good to know who to call, and it's just it's just good to know that I can call. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes it, we know that we can call a lot of people, but sometimes that call might not make it through. You get the voicemail. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You might have to call three or four times. Hallelujah. But so for something happened. But but this is a promise. God said, You call on me in a day of trouble. Hallelujah. And I'm gonna show up. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why we can praise God because assurance that I don't have to go through what I'm going through. Because uh, he allowed this to come in my path. Uh, since he allowed it, then I ought to send it back to the city. Y'all ain't gonna help me up in here. He allowed this to come into my life. Uh, so he knows how to handle what's going on in my life. But when we call on him in the times of trouble, it brings God to glory. Calling on God acknowledges him as God. Oh, yeah. Hebrews 11 and 6, the word tells us, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. In order for us to call on God in the day of trouble, we got to have a real belief that God is God. Yeah. We can't let none of these other stuff take God's place. Amen. We can't let our thoughts take God's place. We can't let facts take God's place. We can't let society and the culture and the trends of this world take the place of God. Amen. We got to believe in God. We got to believe in his power and his abilities. We can't allow the world to transform our view of the Bible into being something like a fantasy or like a myth or like God ain't real because God is real and he's still the same God. We have to believe that God really cares about us. Because this word says, call upon me in the day of trouble. And everybody ain't telling you to call on them in trouble. Y'all ain't going to be real with me this morning. A lot of people try to get away from you when they know you in trouble. A lot of people, you see who really in your corner when you in trouble. When you in trouble, you see who really loves you. When you in trouble, you see who really is going to be there for you. Hallelujah. And God is telling us this morning that I really love you. I really care about you. So when you find yourself in trouble, you ain't got to look for if you need some help. Just call upon me and I'm going to show up and I'm going to help you. This call, this call is just not for us to offer lip service, but this is God really telling us to try him. God wants us to try him. He wants us to put him to the test. He wants us to call him. And when we call him, it brings him glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. He wants us to trust him. Because you ain't going to call on nobody that you don't trust. Amen. Hallelujah. Not only does God want us to call on him, but he wants to prove to us that he hears us. He gets the glory when he answers the call. Because next in our text we see, he said, not only you call on me, he said, I will deliver thee. Hallelujah. It's just not that I'm going to think about you. It's not I'm going to hear you. It's not I'm going to tell you what I think about what you're going through. Or I'm going to point you into this or that direction. It ain't I will kind of help you out. But he said I will deliver thee. That means co complete deliverance is at your doorstep if you just call upon God. Hallelujah. That I will means that I'm going to do this. In the day of trouble, I'm going to deliver you. In the day of hardships, I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to pull you through if you just sincerely call upon me. Look at how much God cares. He made that personal. He says, if you call, I'm going to do this. He didn't say, I'm going to send somebody else to do it. I care about you so much that I'm going to put my finger on this. I'm going to deliver you. The thing about this, when God makes a promise, ain't nobody big enough to stop it. Amen. 
of you, no matter how the devil try to attack your mind, God is big enough to deliver that mind. No matter how much the devil try to attack your body, God is big enough to heal you. He's big enough to bring you out. He just wants us to call upon him. It don't matter what our family's going through. No matter what the habits, it seems like they can't, that they can't break. No matter how the enemy is trying to attack bodies and minds and, and situations, God said, if we call upon him, he says he will deliver. And the Lord will be glorified through the deliverance. Because lastly, he's so confident, he's so God. He says, when you call on me, I'm going to deliver you. And when I deliver, y'all going to glorify me. And that's where we come in. Because we got to glorify God. Ain't nobody going to make us praise God. Ain't nobody going to make us say hallelujah. Ain't nobody going to make us say thank you, Jesus. But when we realize how good God is and what he's capable of, it makes us want to throw up our hands. Hallelujah. After we've been delivered and set free, our response should be to glorify the Lord. He still wants us to be thankful. And after all that he's done for us on this week, we ought to find ourselves giving God praise. We ought to find ourselves crying out to him. We ought to find ourselves giving God glory. Because we, instead of being thankful, the devil wants us to complain. Yes, Lord, the devil wants us to whine. He wants us to throw pity parties. He wants us to cry and fall up in the bed. Say yes to God. He wants us to give up. He wants us to throw in the towel. But God said, if you call me, I will deliver. And when I deliver, then I'm going to glorify God. Say yes to God. God is calling us to be And just cry out to him. And still worry about what we cried out to him about. Say yes to God. Say yes, God. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. Say yes to God. He wants us to stop talking faith. And start operating in real faith. Say yes to God. This is God's word. Seek for God. I ain't talking to the world today. I'm talking to the saints of God. It's time for us to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves up, and call on God and start looking. Say yes to God and start expecting God to deliver. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. We owe God a praise. God has done so much to us. Lord, the least we can do is come before him and cry out to him in thanksgiving. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. See, God gave us scriptures like this because he knew that there would be some times when we need them. Say yes to God. It was going to be some times when we had to wrap back on the word of God. Say yes to God. There was going to be some times when we was fighting some stuff. When we were going to need a little help. Say yes to God. Oh yes, Lord. We in a warfare. Say yes to God. We in a street fight. Say yes to God. If you know anything about a street fight, ain't no rules in a street fight. Say yes to God. And God ain't never told us to try to fight the devil by ourselves. Say yes to God. We're supposed to jump that last. Say yes to God. God, you got this part, and I got this side. Say yes to God. Holy Ghost got this side, I got that side. Say yes to God. But if we call on him, he said, I will. I will deliver you. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. See, the devil, he don't want us to praise God. He don't want us to call on God. Say yes to God. We got to focus on how great God is. Say yes to God. Instead of how bad the situation is. Say yes to God. He wants you to replay it. He wants you to keep talking about it.
about it. He wants you to keep thinking about it. Say yes to God. Oh, yes, Lord. He does for us the same thing he tried to do to Jesus. All this will I give you if you just bow down and worship me. Say yes to God. And the devil wants us to think that he'll give you what you want. Say yes to God. If you just constantly think about how can I do this? How can I do that? How is this going to work? What's going to be the end of this? Say yes to God. But God never told us. Say yes to God. To figure it out. He just said, call me. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. He says, call me. And I will deliver. Say yes to God. So God sent me to tell you that you can call on him. He's waiting on you. Say yes to God. He wants you to call him. Say yes to God. Come on and put your hands together and give God praise in this place. to be thankful. Say yes, sir. Psalms 100. The word says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Say yes to God. I'm not here to tell you that what you're going through is easy because I know it ain't. Say yes to God. I'm not here to tell you and what you're fighting in your mind is easy to overcome because I know it ain't. Say yes to God. But what I am here to tell you is that you can call on God. Say yes to God. And he said he will. He will. He'll deliver you. Say yes to God. There'll be times when you won't feel like praising. There'll be times when you don't feel like saying hallelujah. There'll be we don't feel like saying thank you, Jesus. But in those times, that's when you put on a sacrifice of praise. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. When the sacrifice of praise, you put him on and say, I know I don't feel like it, but I'm going to praise God anyway. Say yes to God. I know I don't look like it, but I'm going to praise God anyway. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to praise God anyway. Say yes to God. And when we give God that sacrifice of praise, our faith goes to work. And when our faith goes to work, God goes to work. Say yes to God. Because the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth is doing to all generations. And that hasn't changed. God is our refuge. He is our strength. He's a very present help in a time of trouble. And that hasn't changed. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And that hasn't changed. Say yes to God. So when life gets hard, say yes to God. There's a place we can go. We can run to our refuge. Say yes to God. And his name is Jesus Christ. Say yes to God. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Say yes to God. So this morning, I want you to open up your mouth and begin to call on God. Say yes to God. Come on and give God the praise. Come on and call him. Come on and call him. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and call him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Everyone said that there was one of God. Hallelujah. Today, hallelujah, if you've been fighting something, hallelujah, if you want God to help you, I want to
want you to come to this altar right now. It's a specific call. Hallelujah. If you want to be real and not go through the motions, you want God to help you this morning. I want you to bring that thing to the altar. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Call upon me. I will deliver. The last one says that you shall glorify me. Hallelujah. So you, you believe that God has done what you come to this altar for on this morning. Oh, even though you may not feel like it, even though you may not see it, I want you to glorify God right now.
God says, I'm here for you. God just don't manifest his prisons and churches like this just so we can be excited. God show up so he can remind us that I love you and I care about you. If you need me to carry a load for you, I'm here to take that load from you right now. That's why his presence is here. Glory to God. I hear him say, if you reach out and touch him, he'll touch you back. Come on and touch him this morning with your lips. Come on and act him. Just come on and reach out and touch him. Glory to God. Thank you. 